Hi everyone, I'm Nicole from Really Good Stuff here again with a STEM challenge that I'm going to do today with either your children or your students. Um, before I get started, if you could, just comment below with if you're a teacher or a parent. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our STEM challenge. So our STEM challenge is from our Really Good Stuff STEM challenge flip chart. And the challenge we are doing today is called Build a House to Withstand a Hurricane. So to do this lesson, all you need is some recyclable materials from home. So whether you have cardboard, um, tissue paper, paper towels, anything you can find um, that you don't need that you can use for this would be great. Um, you also can add some craft materials if you wanna make it a STEAM lesson and add in some arts and crafts. So I'll get to that in just a few. So our task today is to create a rugged home that can withstand strong winds. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about um, homes and hurricanes. Did you know hurricanes are aggressive storms that produce strong winds and heavy rainfall? A category five hurricane has winds that can exceed 157 miles per hour. At that speed, the winds could destroy buildings and rip large trees right out of the ground. These storms have caused many people to lose their homes. By being proactive, we have the ability to build houses that can be better and withstand the strong and dangerous storms. So, so again, our task is to create a rugged home that can withstand strong winds. So for this lesson, I think it's important to start with a piece of cardboard that's going to hold your home. Um, because if we let it stand freely when we test it, it's not going to work. So just take some kind of piece, it could even be a paper plate or some kind of um, placement for your home that it can attach to. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this around here so you can see um, how we do our STEM lessons. So we start by asking some questions. So some important questions to ask are about hurricanes in the past. So which kinds of homes with, um, could withstand the hurricane better than others? Um, or you can come up with other questions that you can research, then research and learn more about hurricanes. Um, this will then help your child or your students create their design. So spend a good amount of time with the questions. Um, researching online or if you have books will be really helpful for when they then um, design their contraption or their home. So now we're gonna go down to our next space. So when you're done with those parts here, we're going to then imagine and plan what your home will look like. So you also might wanna do some research on um, how homes are built because that will then help you with the structure of your home. And you're going to then jot down some notes and draw what you're going to design. So I'm going to skip these just to show you quickly what my, my, what my house turned into. Um, so this is what it looks like. I did some really important things with the structure of the home. Um, I first attached some beads down to the ground and then I put some clothespins. Um, I, I attached them to the beads so that I know that it's now attached to the base here. Then I built the, the rest of the home and um, as you can see, I did a little bit of steam by adding some arts and crafts in here and made my home look really fun and colorful. So now I need to test my design. So for this lesson, if you have a folder at home, um, a notebook, a catalog, anything that you can use to kind of create the hurricane or the wind um, will work. So I'm gonna put my STEM flip chart aside just for a moment so I can test out my design. And I actually have a really good stuff catalog to test it out with. Um, I do not have any folders at home. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my catalog and start creating a storm. Okay, so do it as hard as you can. You wanna see if it kind of holds together or not, because when we think about hurricanes, we know that they go on and on for a while. So let's see here. So I found that the structure of my house is really great, right? It's holding tightly when I make the wind, um, but I did find that the roof is not very secure. So I use tissue paper to create my roof. I'm finding that that's not the best material. So I need to go back and improve my design. So a really important part of engineering and designing is going back and improving what you've done. So the first time you create something shouldn't be the last time. It's always important to go back and really think about um, what changes you can make to make your contraption or your home or whatever you're making better, okay? So that's the STEM lesson for today. Um, please share this lesson with 
school districts, teachers, friends, anyone that you feel could benefit from having this, um, this activity to do right now, especially because it's free and you just need materials from your home. And I'll be back every Wednesday with a different STEM lesson. We're also doing a bunch of different videos um, just to help make this time easier for you at home. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you soon. Thanks, bye-bye.